I changed that stinking motto. Mediocrity is not tolerated. Would make more <laughs> sense than the one we got now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a, that's a good one. Here's something else. Yeah, you know, big country, and I, I'm not going to argue if he's good or bad or how, whatever. I don't, I don't. I've never even been in the woods with the dog, but he done more to put eyes on the blue tick breed than the BBOA and the BBCH ever could. For sure. For sure. Oh, yeah, I agree. And, and, That's what and, I'm saying. And, and not in a UKC hunt. And most of it not in a UKC hunt. Yeah. But he put more eye. He done. He, I'm telling you, he exposed the blue tick breed. It, it, and you, you take a Dustin Weed. I don't care if it's Scott Engel. I don't, I don't care any of them big guys. If they could get a blue tick and kick hind in, they would hunt it, too. And this makes people mad. <laughs> Amateurs play for trophies. Professionals play for money. This is your host, Jason Snurgrove, and I will be your guide as we journey down the road to pleasure hunt or hitting the long trail to those great cop hunts. This is the Coon Hound Collective. <laughs> So, so let me jump in here. So you wanting to, let's just use the English, the English Association for an example. Are you wanting to like them to do away with having UKC chartered hunts and just have PKC chartered hunts? No, they no, should be across only, all No, all I think three. it should be a, a pro sport, PKC. AKC. AKC, UKC. So you mean having, the, having a different event? The, I don't care if they have a different event or if they like, want to run like, it all into one or Well, one. Like, like having English days and have a UKC English days, a PKC English days, pro sport English days. No, no, days. no, no. I, don't, I think no. you're missing that. What I'm saying is, is you went, you was one of three English dogs of the PKC world. Why wasn't your picture with the other two in the in the English book? Why what, Why didn't the Western English days get your picture and say, here's some winning Englishes? Pro sport, they do it with UKC hunts and English days. If you'd have gotten the top 100 because the BKC world, ain't their charter, Western English ain't only one. Which one is only one of them's chartered? United is chartered. Okay, That's Western English days ain't chartered, chartered, right? Yeah. So they can do that. I, I okay, they're chartered with UKC. I kind of get it. The, there, there's, there's a reason why they're, but. I'll get to that in a minute, but no, my, I, I, I think my, there's my, a... my, here's my thing. And I think Aaron's the same, same way. I, I, it, whatever breed of dog that I'm hunting, cause obviously I've had several, but whatever breed of dog I'm hunting, if I'm a member of that association and it, whether it's, that's a charter association with UKC or whatever, if I take that dog and I go win the AKC world with inside of our breed, nothing to do with UKC, inside our breed, that that organization says, say, hey, here's an English dog that went and done AKC world hunt. We, 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 need to, we need to recognize this dog. <laughs> and recognize him as in what? Like put him in the magazine or something like that? Put him in their, in their book. Yeah, in the yearbook. In the, in the in yearbook. Their, in the yearbook, uh, whatever. I got you. That's all we're saying is why, why you know, we're sitting here looking at this book, only you can KC dogs, but there's been a lot of blue dogs. That's one other stuff besides UKC. The, why can they not be in the magazine? Are, should we not be promoting winners? Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's what we should be doing. It'd be an easy fix if that's all you are asking. No, I'm asking for more than that. I, I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking for a whole new uh, mindset. I, I, that that would be a start. But I'm talking. We need a, my opinion on the blue tick breed. I ain't gonna speak for the rest of them, but I think they're same as they're kind of all the same. We need a whole new mindset. The days of the cold. You know, you mentioned a while ago the cold trend, all that. That that's fine. Competitions, hunting, and promoting a breed. I, I don't care how many of these books and how, what you put out, and like I said, all the little tents you put up. If you want to promote a breed, I don't care if it's a stinking red bones or a stinking black and tan. They got to win. It's that simple. Well, just like, I, and and I don't I don't know the exact numbers, but just like last year for the PK, the English PKC breed hunt, which you you got to be in the you know top sixteen to get into, but just like that hunt hunt last year I, it's a it's a, it's a big deal supposed to be breed hunt and there was no extra money kicked in anywhere last year and i think they first place paid a hundred and something dollars i, I mean that i, I just I, that blows my mind why didn't the, one of one of the three english associations step up and say hey it we see that this is only going to pay a hundred dollars let, let us give a hundred and the other one give a hundred and i mean give something 
mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. try to better the breed. That's just like here a few years ago, which, like I said, I'm going to have to defend Jim and them because they have the last few years has kind of stepped into helping with the PKC dog. So I've, I've got to give them kudos. But just same thing you just said, you know, two or three years ago, Sean Wood, he would, he, he lives up north near East Kansas City or somewhere up in there, but uh, he would auction off a deer hunt because he, he, he's got land anyway for the deer hunters. And then he would add 1,200, 1,500, whatever it was to the pot. And then I know, I know this year, Trey Melton, them guys done a lot of junk to get our, I can't remember the amount, but it was, it was several dollars. And then, like I said, Jim, like I'm going to have to really brag on Jim because he was there, had a five, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was $500. But these are individuals trying to help the PKC yeah. uh, yes. blue tick breed. But the, and, and that's, and that's what I'm saying with the English breed. If we as PKC members, me and you, don't get with those guys over in Tennessee and try to help raise some money. With there ain't no association trying to help no, us. They're not Nowhere, and, and and you're going to read your your numbers here in a minute, and that's just going to make me even more mad. Because, well, I mean, because you, they've got the money to spend. But <clears throat> yep, I mean, yeah. But but you just have to get mad. But I mean, facts are facts. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know, but I'm my point behind it is okay. That's great. I don't have. I, I hope they make jillions of dollars. That's fine as long as they're using those dollars to promote the breed. Yeah. So go ahead with you. And know? another and another thing that you ha- I'll say this: I'll, I, your organization is only as good as your money man, the man handling your money. It seems like all the griping, complaining, and any of the splits on all the any of the associations, especially the blue tickers and all that, people's griping about money, want to know where a certain amount of money went, want to know some you know money this, money that. Where would money go? There's money disappeared. Until you get people in there that are trustworthy, that will take care of your money in a proper way, you'll, you'll have a lot less trouble, I think. Well, that's what went to the Missouri Federation years ago. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's 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 the root of, of a lot of the evil behind any of the organizations. The, the money that they take in for memberships, they use to buy. And, and I'm not I'm not a uh, I'm not an officer in the association or anything, but and I, and I don't have their exact figures or nothing like that. I ain't going to try to pretend that I do, but I'm just saying that the money they bring in for members, on how many members they got, it's what thirty dollars and thirty dollars a year now or thirty five. I just paid it. I don't even remember. Yeah, thirty five. Thirty or thirty five. 30. I think it's thirty. And it used to be. I remember when it was twenty, and I was like, they really need to raise that to twenty five. I mean, I, I made the comment to raise it to thirty one time when they were I talking would pay about it on more. Facebook. I, I'm a member to to more than one association, and I would pay more if those associations would support the breed period, not a registry. Oh, I would too. It wouldn't be no big deal. I mean, thirty. I mean, what's thirty dollars a year? And so they're and them yearbooks like we got this year. They're legit. I mean, I don't know what it cost them to print those, but that money goes towards that. And then that money goes to have an English Days, an event where all English breeders can get together, can compete, have a good time, and camp out. Just sure. fill that hole. You know, people take vacations to go out there and do that. Not, it's I'm it's not, a good deal for absolutely. all them breeds to, to get together and do that. And it costs money to uh, to operate and to, and to do, thing, do things like that with. I, they, they have to take in membership. So if they ain't taking in, I, I do agree with like the English breeders, you know, they've they kind of hit on this a lot on Facebook and, and social media and talked about that, about join. You need to join. You need to be a member. You need to be a member. Want, want, you know, begging people to be members and pay their sure. membership. And, and that's important because when we do that, the association can do more. Kind of what you guys are saying, maybe they're not doing enough for, or, but maybe, but for, for, for the breed itself, no matter what registry. Or maybe the money is not going in the right places, being divvied up at right. And it and it may and maybe it ain't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't. It, I've never seen their books, so I don't know. It's the money, but like I said to me, it's it's com- also the mindset. It, it, like I said, even even of course I'm around Stan Morris and the Red Bones, but they're they're the same way. You know, they're they're supposed to be promoting their breed, but yet I I, I can't see how they're promoting a breed. You know, big country, and I, I'm not going to argue if he's good or bad or how, whatever. I don't, I don't, I've never even been in the woods with the dog. But he done more to put eyes on the blue tick breed than the BBOA and the BBCH ever could. For sure. For sure. Oh, yeah, I agree. And, and, That's what and, I'm saying. And, and not in a UKC hunt. And most of it not in a UKC hunt. Yeah. But he put more eye, he done, he, I'm telling you, he exposed the blue tick breed. It, it, and you you take a Dustin Weed. I don't care if it's Scott Engel. I don't I don't care any of them big guys. If they could get a blue tick and kick hind in, they would hunt it. 
They would hunt it. They don't care what. I don't care if it, it, it's a red bone. If they can kick kind in with it. And my point is the associations are good and they should have their breed hunts. I'm not saying let's not have blue tick days and let's not have, let's, ha, let's have all that. But to me, it, we don't emphasize winning enough. Winning is what puts people in the seats. It, that's, I don't care what sport it is. Just like you said earlier you know, with the contracts. The eyes will be on. The, the eyes, eyes will be on. Yeah. I, you know, I, <laughs> Just like, uh, you know, I'm going to brag on Trey Melton and Joe Parker. I don't even hardly know him, to be honest with you. But I, I got in the truck hunt. No blue tick guys knew that. Trey Melton got on Facebook and said, hey, guys, or, I think Facebook and the PKC website said, hey, guys, I know it don't PKC don't matter to you, but we got a blue tick in the final four. Gerald Parker messaged me personally, you know, good luck. I wanted to state hunt here the other night, a month, two month, whenever I did. He he texted me personally. I got nothing from nobody else, you know, from, from any other blue tick guys. So I'm, I've got to say thanks to them guys that they – but my point is, e- even like I said, Crowder won whatever and, and the other dog, country club and them dogs. Half the UKC guys don't even know that because yeah. they, they don't they don't put it – nobody cares. It's just like, you know, they went – like I said, they can go – They uh, you can take a blue tick and go win king of a hunt – and he's like I said, he's he's pushed to the top of the blue tick breed where where we're over here winning second at super stakes and winning at, almost winning pickups and another blue dog I think done good to PKC World and I, you know I can go on and on here, but yet this dog and went to a BBCHA sectional that won King of the Hunt you know and there's two blue ticks there, but nobody knew there was only two blue ticks there but yet he's he's get his picture put in the book and oh God look here he won a sectional I mean. It, we're, we're not promoting winners here. Let's promote winners. Let's promote winning. Yeah. Uh, first thing I do, I told Jim Combs this a few years ago, I changed that stinking motto. Mediocrity is not tolerated. Would make more <laughs> sense than the one we got now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a, that's a good one. Here's something else. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> like I said, you you just look at that big country fad when it when he hit. I'm telling you, he done more good stuff for the blue tick breed. And I, 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 like I said, I don't care if the dog's good or bad, a good reproducer. It, it, that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. That dog put more eyes on the I'm, blue tick I'm telling you what, guys, if you'd have took big country and put him in a pen 20 foot away from the BBCHA and BBOA little huts they put up at Autumn Oaks, I'm telling you, they had went to big country. More people would have stopped and talked to big co- the people with big country than they would have BBCHA and BBOA probably. Because Walker Dog guys would have stopped and talked to, about him and other deals. Well, if you, I mean, there, there's a lot of, well, not a lot, but there's several dog hunting podcasts. And, I mean, there's a lot of Walker Dog guys that, that are on those podcasts and there's a lot of them that talk about big country. Yes. You, you don't hear another blue tick name. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, what did you say his name was? Scott Wood? Is it is that the guy that lives up by La Plata somewhere? Sean Wood, he's Sean the president Wood. of PKC Blue Tick, yeah. so, but he, yeah. uh, where that, it's northeast Kansas City. They, they, they've talked about some of his dogs, so he's been on one. He's got that three-legged female. Yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, if you, I mean, if you just say big country, in in our circles, don't matter if it's English, Walkers, Red Bones, whatever, they know what dog you're talking about. Absolutely, that's what I'm saying. We we the Walkers promote winners. We're promoting. I really don't know what we're promoting. The Red Bones, I don't know what they're promoting. What are they promoting? They're not promoting the breed. I, 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 you cannot promote dogs that don't win. Just like I don't care pick the nfl take the worst team in the league you can put all the billboards up you want they suck they suck (laughs) yeah (laughs) you know what i'm saying it's the super bowls that everybody cares about well there's a lot of people that that are that become kansas city chiefs fans because the chiefs went because of my homes they've just they've they've won so much they've gotten so and people just they flock just like people that don't even watch football they're uh, they're Chiefs fans uh, they want to be a Chiefs fan just because of that yeah not they're because winning. of whoever. They're winning. I don't even. I don't even like football, but you know what I'm saying. I don't either. I hate it, but anyway. Boy, I, me and you're just getting be better, I don't even better get, friends I don't even than we ever were. You're going to get me on a whole new subject. I don't get football. I don't get the point. You got. One, I don't either, Jason. One, you got one guy throwing and two catching and forty guys dogpiling. Yeah. I don't even get it. Yeah. Anyway, let's get off that because I could talk an hour just on griping about yeah, football. Yeah, we better get off that. Thing. Yeah. We ain't got an hour. No. We don't. Sun's going down. Hour. All right. 
so we, we we've kind of laid it out here uh about the associations and kind of uh where where, where we kind of feel that maybe they're coming up short a little bit but there 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 is a reason that that they are charter members of ukc and a lot of it i think has to do with the pocketbook so go ahead brent and yeah it has everything to do about the money it's, and, and it's let, everything is about the money let, let's you, and, you got some numbers let's go and ahead and i'm not it. i'm not against either one of them but i will say this if, if if pkc was interested and they're the money they're the money hunt people they would have to change their structure in order for any organization especially I'm going to speak on the English Breeders Association. Go ahead. What? PKC, if you look at them numbers, are for the hunter. I know. Okay, go ahead. But. And there's going to be some people arguing with me, but if you, but these it, numbers but, don't lie, and it, the hunter is what makes the money in PKC. Well, okay, it does. But, so, when you made that post on Facebook, you was wanting to know why ukc basically why ukc why is the main the yeah. why they're the only one so and i don't i don't and we we tried to come up with these numbers so if 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 um if you're a chairperson or or a, who whoever's i don't even know who all of our people are that take care of it now the president vice president and all that. troy shell troy and then i don't know who the uh it, it, it don't matter. We, no, it don't we, matter. We but pull, anyway, we pull I, these numbers off Facebook, and if they're wrong, they're this is wrong. Just, this is just but well, this, this is just approximate. This, this will give you an idea of what we're talking. It, about. It's it's there's such a huge distance. It wouldn't matter how off I was. It, it's the distance is so great. But like on a, even though they have hunts on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday up there, at English days, it's going. We're just going to talk about Friday and Saturday night. So let's just say they hunted a hundred dogs. This is a UKC event. And I've got thirty dollars wrote down here, but I ain't sure. I didn't go this year, but I, I want to say that it was thirty-five dollar entry fee. I think, but I'm going to say thirty dollars. So you're looking at bringing in for a UKC hunt on a Friday night if there was a hundred dogs, and I think they hunted more than that, didn't they? They averaged uh, hundred and ten dogs a night. Okay, so they're, they're bringing in a, a three grand. They're going to have to pay UKC twenty-five dollars to hold the hunt, seven dollars per dog. You're looking at seven hundred twenty-five dollars. The organization is going to profit somewhere around twenty-two seventy-five. They're going to do that again on Saturday night, approximately here. Okay, twenty-two seventy-five again. They're going to bring in with. Uh, uh, they're going to bring in about. Well, there's, what is that? Four thousand, forty-five hundred dollars, forty-seven hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, and that's not. That's just. Uh, that's just for two Friday nights of hunting. Th that's not including Wednesday and Thursday. Right. That's just Friday and Saturday. Now, let's just turn this around, and let's say this was going to be a PKC event, okay? <clears throat> and, and I'm not against PKC. I'm not against UKC. I'm just giving you boys some facts on numbers here. Yeah. Because you guys are grouchy. <laughs> and awful mouthy. But anyhow, <clears throat> so 100 dogs in a PKC event, $30 deal. Payout's going to be 600 We just looked it up. Yep. Payout $630. To the to the hunter to the to the hunter, the winner. Uh, we didn't look to see what the split was. I can't. Me, I would have to but, go back and look. I mean, it's it's minimal. So the club would get, and that would be the the that would be the association would the, get that money. The club would get six six hundred sixty dollars. All right. Well, number one, right there, on on a on a one night, you're looking at six sixty versus twenty two seventy five. They're, yeah. they're they're gonna make more money. Yeah. So my question is, why would they go to? Why would they even run a PKC chartered? Why would they? Why would they do PKC? They they ain't making nothing. Okay. And if they need the money to operate to hold English days, the way that they're holding it, obviously six sixty would never cut it. So then you'd just it, no. It, it would be over. With. No, there you're would be no you're one hundred percent right. But he's. I know what he's going to say. I don't. Oh, hold it's, on. Before you do, because I'd give you an hour to lip. Okay. okay. So let me go. Go ahead. All right. So now let's add in another deal. <clears throat> Bench show. They don't always have a big, as big a turnout at English days on the bench show. I don't think. According to you, is that what you was telling me? This was like the the largest one. one. The largest, yeah. Okay. So at the bench show on a Friday and Saturday night, they they showed like 240 dogs. 
So they're bringing in about seven hundred or seventy-two hundred dollars for the bench show. Okay, <clears throat> the bench show. Uh, they're having to pay um, two dollars a dog to UKC, four hundred eighty bucks. There's five hundred forty-eight dollars in a roundabout on that two hundred forty-eight. 240 dogs. Now, my math may be off 100 or so here, give or take, but it ain't going to matter because the distance is, it, the, the price, the, the money amount here is, is so drastic, it would, doesn't even matter. But so the profit on, on the bench show would be around $6,652. I see you steaming over there. Now, <clears throat> two nights of hunting. Now, this, now, they hunted Wednesday night. They had an RQE on Wednesday night. I don't know. They had 70 some dogs there, right? All right, so they made they, money. They, that... they averaged over four nights, 110 dogs per night. Okay, which was four, about 430. I think we figured it up, about 438 dogs in four nights. That, that's a lot for, for a breed hunt. Sure. And so um, two nights of hunting with a bench show, they brought, they brought in roughly, and this is give or take 1,000, um, and and th- there was expenditures and stuff. I know that they have to things they have to pay for, but um, I guess they get. I mean trophies and all kinds of things. But well, and trophies, they have to pay for the they had to pay the club, the club and they had to the pay event. for the for yeah. the meal and but I they're, mean they're, but they're, they're stuff. But they're bringing in eleven around eleven thousand two hundred dollars. That's two nights of hunting in the bench show. That don't include the Wednesday and Thursday night hunt. That's right. Yeah. Now hold on, thirteen hundred and twenty PKC. Yeah. Okay. If you were running that, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't have a problem with them having it at all. But okay, I mean, what? but if you but if you're trying to if you're trying to keep an organization going, like like the United English Breeders, I mean, and and you knew you was going to bring in around eleven thousand versus thirteen twenty, what are you going to do? I'm not saying don't have them either. They should have English days. You're you're going to go with UKC event because you're going to make more money. But, but my my thing is, and I think this is Aaron's point. Okay, so that you said that, and that wasn't even all the nights. Just, let's just say, I know it wasn't all it, nights. It, it was even twelve thousand dollars gross. Probably they, more they, than that. Yeah, yeah, and it was more. They had to pay Flora. They had to pay for the meal. They have to pay for the trophies. Yeah. So by the time it's all said and done, okay, they walk away and they've got three or four thousand dollars profit. Okay, take five hundred dollars of that profit. How, how many guys, if the English Association said, "Hey, we're going to give for the PKC breed hunt, we're going to give a check for five hundred dollars added to, or for the w- winner, we're going to give a check five hundred dollars." How many more members are you? But you got to be a paid member. Of the United English Association, how many more paid members are going to join? Because I guarantee there's some of those guys, they're not paid members that's hunting over there. There's a lot of guys in PKC. I, I may be wrong, but several of them are not members. I mean, it don't matter to me. I'm going to be a member right. no matter what. But just like with the black and tans, I, I don't even have a black and tan in my kennel. I'm, but I've still got a three-year membership left. I just re- renewed it. That That's awesome. I, I wish they could make a million dollars a year. I'm not even arguing that. I'm just saying support the breed as a whole. Support the breed as a whole. That's all I'm saying. But if you want to really talk about numbers, what what did first or second place cast winners win it up there? They trophy? didn't win any money. They didn't win squat, did they? No, they got their name. They got they got, got their picture in the book. Picture in a book and a trophy. What would you want if you was cast winner at a hundred thirty dollar event, hundred dogs? Oh, that's six hundred thirty dollars. Yeah. That's oh wait a second. And if you get if you was in the top four high scoring dogs, if you won first, that's six thirty plus five eighty five. <laughs> so Yeah, so okay. So, so where and let me ask you, would you rather go to English Days and get a trophy or go here as a hunter? I'm not talking association, but as a hunter, or would I rather now we're kinda of getting off different that, go, no, tangent That's here, okay, but, I got your answer. Or would you I've rather had go it for win, an hour? Twelve or thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. I'd rather I'd rather win that truck at the truck hunt and not give a crap whether you didn't put me in the book or not. I'd be tickled. I had the truck. truck. I'd care less whether you put me yeah. in the book. That's my answer. Yeah. My, well, uh, and, and and I agree. And I I'd agree rather with win that. four side by sides than you put me in that book right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, and I and I agree with that. But my thing is, we are we as are we are the paying members of the United English 
Association, Blue Tick Association, Black and Tans, whatever whatever it is, every one of them says something about making the breed better. Mm-hmm. What what are we doing to make the breed? I mean, do, but just because we're hanging out there at this one event, we're, we're making the breed better. Why why are we not offering some money for some of the pro sport? Well, if we get a dog that wins the dog of the year at pro sport, an English dog. We should what, be what trying you, to make the breed you, better Monday through Friday. Exactly. What what are what are what if you get loner in and you win the dog of the year pro sport? You start hunting pro. Nobody, sport. no English. I don't know about the English guys because they're more competitive. But I guarantee you, the blue tick guys, ha, most of them don't even know. Right. Yeah. Uh, that I'm, I, my argument is, hey, they're an organization. You have to. Ha- I run a small business. Aaron runs a business. We you have to have money to operate. And, and if that organization makes their profit through memberships and and holding a UKC event and from the clubs holding sectionals and the money they get off mm-hmm. of there, mm-hmm. why are we not taking part of that money and saying, hey, as an association, if you get in the whatever it is, the semifinals or top 100, whatever you want to call it, of the PKC world, we're going to do this. Or if you get in the final four of the PKC world, we're going to do this. Or if you get it, dog of the year or whatever, pro sport, we're going to... I'm saying help support the breed as yeah. a whole. Forget the, the – you run an organization as a business. Why Why couldn't – Loner got wherever he did in the PKC world. He could be in their book. This That book has nothing to do with UKC. Exactly. Why Why? Why are we not got Loner in there? I right. mean he, – He's in there, but I think he had to pay to put him there. But why – you know, they got all these other hunts – I mean, I, I mean, I can, uh, I'm flipping through the pages of all these blue tick hunts. Of course, I, I, I'm talking. We're talking about Loner, and he's in English. But you got all these English hunts. They have the these sectionals, and you get your picture in there. Why wouldn't Loner? That's our argument. Why is Loner not in there for getting in the semifinal? Where have you did the, the PKC World? I mean, it, that it, that picture don't cost no don't money. Su- I, I mean, I guess because they but, don't but, support any PKC stuff. But but. So, Obviously, they, so don't. they so they don't. None of them do. No, no. You're right. That's our gripe. So they don't support the English breed as a whole. That that's mine and Aaron's point. Yeah. Is I want to see. Well, I, I want to see them support the that's breed the as deal a whole. That, that you, we, they that's should, the deal I don't that even care if they gave money. They just uh, recognition. I, okay, they don't have the money. They, they should be giving us guys that are out here pushing. And once again, I can name several. I mean, I, I can go down the list here of us blue tick guys that's pushing to try to make a, 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 our dogs good and look good and win. And yet, like I said, a guy goes down here and wins a friggin' sectional with two blue ticks in it, and he gets his picture put in the book. He, he's literally beat two blue ticks or three red bones, and they get their picture in a book. And Crowder, like I said, can go win second at Super Stakes and not a peep out of them. So let me admit, because you don't know the answer to this. Uh, Hard Time Awesome was mm-hmm. was the last dog. To win the PKC World Hunt English Dog. Yeah. Was he in the book for winning that? Not that I remember no. seeing it. That And that's my point. We, we had I mean, a, it would have been in a PKC. I, 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 I was a pro a, hound, obviously. It, right. But I, I, I was out of hunting at that during that time frame, because that was when we were moving. But my, my thing is... Why, as an association, didn't we say, hey, look, guys, this this dog, yeah, it ain't UKC, but he went over here to this other registry, and he won a world hunt. That's probably a tougher world hunt to win, in my opinion. Maybe That's they just think, my opinion. Maybe they, think that, maybe they think that they're getting enough recognition because they won the money or a truck. And huh? whoop-de-doo. Could be. And maybe. maybe they're catering to the people that ain't, ain't able to do that. Or, or you know, it's not able to pay the high dollar entry fee to be able to win that monster hunt or whatever it might be whether it's pro sport well, my, or big my, my or whatever. main point is it, it's not just the association it starts from us hunters all the way up to the association to, to everybody ever you know all of us you know we're blue tick fanciers or whatever the term is or red bone fanciers we need we need to be we need to be pushing winners that that's my that's my whole point we, we need to push winners if you want people to look at your breed, if you want people to be impressed with your breed, you got to promote winners. It's that simple. You got to push winners. You got to win. Losers don't cut the mustard. 
the walker you know, dog breed is like their train of thought and everybody knows this their, their train of thought is completely different than the other breeds yeah i agree as, in, as in what like wanting to win winning the, the to win to to be the best i mean their charter says it their search for superiority never ceases i mean their their deal says it right there when everybody walks through autumn oaks and you look over the trend walkers we all know what their motto is they're telling you we plan to kick everybody's period i think i'm gonna vomit <laughs> you can vomit i've heard so much hey you're gonna to get to see some more action here in a little bit, so don't. don't but get too but you know, they're, to me, they they do they. Well, guys, let's just be serious. We can sit here and be silly and, and talk about the breeds till we're, and mal them and make fun of them, and everybody does. But the bottom line is, nobody, no sane human, can say that the Walker dogs they're it. It's period. You, well, the, you, well, they've yeah. dominated for a long time. They, they have. just haven't done it in the last two or three years. I mean. It ain't. It ain't just happening. I mean, and, and they've that, dominated. But, I mean, I'm but that's admit my point. It. That they have dominated because they wanted to dominate. And well, I mean, what? Let's let's do the math here. What? Ninety percent. I guess the, of the rest co- of us are like a Cleveland Brown club. Coach. Pretty much. We want to just be able to. And, get, I, and that's that's put, what get I'm our saying. Name it, some it's out our, there. And I'm saying this for the red guys and plot guys. Like you know, if, if we want to promote our breed and push it out there and have people hunt it. Now, if you're satisfied with just going hunting with your old dog and leaving it at that, then hey, give her. But you can't yeah, because not everybody has the same goal no but you also can't say i'm going to join an association to promote our breed you're not promoting the breed by, by having dogs that can't win i agree it's, it's that you simple ain't promo- you ain't promoting the breed if you're an english dog man and you're packing a walker no that's true too or Ooh. saying i'm gonna go hunt a red bone because they're gonna have a ford raptor I down there I, together I, in the I, counter I, I think i have said more than one time on this podcast i am not a dog breeder i'm gonna hunt a dog but we're talking about supporting the breeds and 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 individuals i'm supporting the association supporting association i don't the even breed. Ha, i don't even have a black or, or and better tan. in the breed or i don't better. have a black and tan in my kennel I ain't had one since my ranger dog died I have not had a black and tan in there except for that one female i got rid of pretty quickly afterwards but and I've been a paid member to the Black and Tan Association. And right now, I just renewed for another three years on their website when I when I done my English association. I'm, I'm a paid member. I'm supporting the association. Now, I, and I can't speak for the Black and Tans because I don't see a lot of them around, really. English, Black and Tan, Blue Tick, Red Bone, Leopard Plot, whatever. Whatever the association is that you're a part of, it should, 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 should support you as a whole don't matter if you're hunting ukc or akc or pro sport or knockout kennel club or whatever it should support you as a whole well we've cold trailed this thing for a long time that's an easy fix just quit coon hunting no it's an easy (laughs) fix how hard would it be to keep track of i mean how hard would it be for an association to keep track of uh, of an of an off breed other other than i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna say that no more edit that out off breed any any other breed besides a walker dog how hard would it be to, I don't think to it's recognize hard, them I, and put them in the magazine? I, I, I mean, that'd be an easy fix. I just, like I said, I think it, it's deeper than just the associations. It's just, it's our our mindset versus, it's just, our, it's not mine, because I want the blue tick to be dominant. I mean, I do. I want to open every book up and see a blue tick win in a truck, a blue tick win in the world hunt, a blue tick win, you know, every time I flip a page. And everybody, over, and in order for that to happen, everybody's got to try try harder we, we gotta, and do and, their and, part. we got to do our part, you and we're not. You ain't going to be able to improve on that if you go, okay, well, I'm going to roll over and die, and I'm going to go get me a walker dog. No, I agree with that. I know you're throwing that at Jason, but yes, you're 100% right. Also, or, or whatever, yes, or whatever other breed. You're exactly we, we right. All, just we, like, the, just you, like we said, st- the crossbreeding, trying I, to improve I'm, your breed. You I'm know. hardcore English. I am so, am I not, what are you laughing about down there? Or, or if we got a dog that can win sitting in the pen, we got to take that joker to town. I am hardcore English guy, and my goal is to not go backwards. It's go forwards. My goal is to not lose hunts. My goal is to not keep not pack a dog that's worse than the one before. I want to try to, I mean, I think everybody's intentions are to try to do something better and get better and all that. But um, I, the way I see it is the guys, I'm just going to say this. Just go ahead. I'm going to hurt your feelings. You, no, no, you, you no, can't. No, I can't know. Hurt them. No, but I'm just. But but you're not a you're not a diehard English guy. No. But you're really not a diehard any of them. No. But if you was a diehard, 
black and tan guy. That's kind of what you prefer. Let's just say you was a diehard black and tan guy. I, well, and Eric you tried to help me buy doing, one the other night, but it didn't work out. So. You wouldn't be doing the Black and Tan Association any positive justice at all by jumping ship and saying, see you later. I'm going to go get me a W dog or whatever. No, he would not be. I agree with you. So, all right. Then you then you just have I mean, you either have to make up your mind either. I mean. Hey, I'll pay memberships in, in, in every association. It, I want to support them all. It don't matter to me. But I'm I'm, I, I'm going to tell you, this This is the way my stepdad was, He and he hunted Walker Dog. My dad had red bones. But this is the way they were. They were not going to feed junk. If it would not go out there and perform and trigger, and I'm telling you, the dog, but the the Walker dog my stepdad had, it was a it was a Walker dog of today. Back then, he didn't mess around. He got in there, he got coons mm-hmm. treed. He was, and he would tell you, you can feed a good one just as cheap as you can feed a bad. Absolutely, one. it's <clears> just <throat> as back. It would be just for me the way I think about this is it's just as it would be just as backwards for guys with Walker dogs that are successful to go. Okay, I'm going just I'm going to go start hunting an English dog now. Well, that's stupid. Well, Why I, would you do that? Out of spot. We just we just had a podcast with Kim Jones. There ain't very many people going to do that. Yeah. Well, that's the re- I mean, you know, the reason why I'm not just die hard. Hunting, hunting walker dogs while there ain't nothing but walker dogs in my kennel is because I want to see something else succeed. I want to show up at a hunt with a dog that I feel like that I can win. I right. mean, I think I had one. If he'd stopped triggering possums, I think I had one that, that could do that. You did. But he, he wouldn't leave possum alone. So I've got I've got two more and a and couple on the way. Well, English what? dogs in my kennel that my goal, my goal is to win and win big. But if they, if they won't, if they're not going to cut the mustard, they're not going to stay there. Yeah. My th- I'm like you. I'm a I'm a blue tick guy, completely. I'm, that's all I'm hunting. I, I don't even make no bones about it. Yeah. That's all I'm hunting. Ah, uh, yeah, I get it. But now I'm not also so stupid and colorblind that I don't know what a good dog is too. I'm the same. Because I know some guys are like, well, if it ain't a plot, by God, it's junk. Period. So I'm I'm not that retarded. I want to see the blue tick breed succeed, and I'm not I'm not jumping ship. I have there's no, I, when I jump ship, it'll be into the ground or the outlawed because I ain't I'm that's I'm. I'm, that's what I like, the blue ticks. You're die hard. I'm die hard. Absolutely. I just, like I said, from from the bottom to the top to the associations, I just the breeds, and I and I'm gonna say this about the red bones and the plots too, and all the rest of them. If we don't start breeding winners, you're you you can claim you're breeding, you're better than the breed or whatever you want to your blue in the face. But if you ain't winning. You ain't doing nothing. That that English hunt you just read off the numbers. That's great. Who'd that promote the breed to? Blue English. Do you think a Walker dog guy showed up and come out there and said, "By God, I'm hunting English now" because they had a four, 100 dogs, 100 tonight. They hunted 100. I don't know if they had any Walker dogs there or not. But you, you they well, did on the. Yeah. They, they did have a few. But they they promoted the breed to themselves. Is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Just like when you go to a red bone hunt or a blue tick hunt, or or autumn autumn oaks. You know what I'm saying. They're, they're, they're promoting the breed to themselves. Well, that's great, but I don't need BBCHA to promote blue ticks to me. Mm-hmm. I'm a blue tick guy already. The English Association right. should, does not need to tell Brett Stevens how good English are. Mm-mm, we no. need to tell everybody else how good they are, so maybe they'll start hunting them. Y'all are prove it. Or, or, or we got to prove it. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we're not proving it. That's that's the problem I have with the whole entire situation. We're not proving it. We're still trying. We're still trying. Yeah. But, and like I said earlier in this podcast, you take 100 kids and, and set them down. And, and it, like I said, if you'd done a survey and picked 100 kids that wanted to coon hunt, and what breed are they going to pick? Guys, it's that simple. The vast majority of them are getting a friggin' walker. It's that simple. Why? Because they, by God, win. Period. They win. So you get these hundred new hunters, and like I said, this is hypothetical. You take them hundred new hunters, ninety of them are going to hunt walkers, and the other ten are going to be split. So our ranks grew by one. One kid English is grew by two. Black and tans grew by one. Plots and poor old red bones didn't get any of them. You, you follow what I'm saying? And ninety of them went to the walker dogs. So you're telling me you know exactly what I just said? The damn truth. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> you got a hundred guys running a race. Oh God! Here we go. You got a hundred guys running in a race. Serious question. Foot race, hundred yard dash. Okay. Ninety of them have on Nike shoes. The other ten are different brands of shoes. Reeboks. And you're gonna whatever. Ninety of them's wearing Nikes. And you're a betting man. What shoe are you gonna bet? A Nike. What shoe are you gonna bet's gonna win that race? Why? Because it's ninety to ten. Oh. Uh-huh. It's Brett. You're, you said exactly what I told him down there at the truck hunt. 
Well, I went into the final four, and there was one blue tick, which was me and three walkers. There was a 75% chance a walker was going to win. No matter what? No matter what. Before you ever turn dogs loose. you turn loose. loose. And right. I know everybody say, well, you just got to win your cast. You just got to. Yes, that is true. <clears throat> but just like you said, if you took. And if there's four of you, there's going to be one blue tick, three walkers. going to be a 25% yeah. chance you're going to win. And just like I said, 25% chance of what blue tick was going to win. Now, if you want to say individual dogs, then it's all 25%. But if you say which breed's going to win, it's 75% versus 25%. You're, you're 100% right. But my point is. If we could, if we would start winning, I don't care if it's English breed or the red bone breed or whatever. If they would start winning, maybe we wouldn't have three walkers and one blue tick or red bone or black and tan. Maybe we would have two black and tans or two blue ticks. And then we'd have a 50% chance of putting a, a blue tick or black and tan or red bone on the map instead of 75. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jason, you got quiet down there. What happened? No, I'm, I'm listening. Oh, okay. But you're 100% right. The, the numbers... We just got to take those dogs to town. We can't be leaving them in the kennel. That, we, that's part of it because there's some good there's yeah. some good blue ticks, good red uh, red bones. You know Kim's old dog. We talked about him the other night when he was good, healthy. He could. Brett's pointing out the window because sun's going down. I said we ain't looking at time. <laughs> uh, I was actually pointing at him. Oh, you was? I thought you was pointing at the yeah, Scott. He, he's the one that's got the dog in the kennel. He won't take the town. <laughs> Well, we're fixing to go hunting bull. here in a minute. Oh, no, no, not that one. I got a it's still in the kennel. Oh. oh. But that's just my, I mean, like I said, our, our uh, what's our disclaimer here? Uh, this is just our opinion. Don't pay no attention to it. Is that yeah, what we're going to say? that's pretty much it. <laughs> no, the, I mean, here, here's the bottom line. I mean, we can beat this dead horse for the rest of the night, but here's the bottom line. I, I just want to see, I don't care what association it is support the breed as a whole forget the freaking registry we don't we're not boohooing freaking dogs anymore yep. we're not all four dogs treeing on the same tree making a calling contest anymore it, it may be time I, it, I mean like i said they screenshotted me the preamble to the english association and it talked about being affiliated with the ukc hey that was fine back in the day it may be time to come to the 21st century yeah that's all I'm saying. And I, I will, like I said, I bragged on, on Jim and them guys. I, I, they have started in last year, and I probably ought to become. Actually, I'll be honest with you. After I left the blue tick hunt down there, the breed hunt the other night down there, where it was at, down there south of Pryor, Oklahoma, I, I thought I would probably join again because he showed up with that check. And I thought if they were going to make an effort, I, I should make an effort since I hunt blue ticks. So I, I probably will join, and it's just simply because – Jim showed up with a five hundred dollar chain. I didn't win the five hundred dollars, but anyway. But I, I, I thought I, that was good. Yeah, that was yeah. good. He was there. To, he was there at that breed hunt to, to promote the winners, and like he should. And he was there. So, uh, and like I said, uh, I know they've had some trouble, and I don't even know what what it is, and don't really care. But I just, I just feel like our priorities. Uh, and once again, these are my opinions. We, they're just in the wrong place. We just ain't promoting the breed properly. Because, uh, like I said, we just ain't promoting the winners. And is it ever going to change? Probably not. But if if we want to improve the breed and, and, and start getting our picture put on the front cover, our way of thinking is going to have to change. That's yeah. it. I, I can tell you this. This is a fact, guys. What we're doing, it's a proven fact, ain't working. Yep. If, if it was working, if the English guys were – and they're There's better. not enough people. There's not enough guys probably – to do in, in general, overall, that's working hard enough to yes. do it, maybe. But you take, you know, there's a lot of guys that are trying. There is. There's a, there's some guys trying, and I and once again, I'm not just saying the blue ticks, but uh, like I said, our formulas, I, you cannot argue that they're good because uh, every time I look on Facebook, it's not a blue ticker, red bone, or black and tan, or English or whatever winning. It's a walker. So we we can't sit here and pat ourselves on the back and act like we've done a stellar job because the facts just don't support our way of thinking yeah but i i guess you know it's kind of like uh different flavored cereals you know we got seven flavors and uh, everybody kind of likes their own flavor and, and i guess they pick it for a certain reason i i just i just get sick of hearing people talking about we should promote the breed and we should do this and and all this stuff and, and then the next thing i hear is well i i need i want a cold trail and dog or i want this you know and it's like i get so sick of that or why don't we ever why doesn't the blue tick ever win the world hunt why are we never win it you know and then like i said that on my original podcast and then the very next time you get on facebook i want a cold no something terrible you know it's like 
we, we can't get ahead because we're still stuck in, I want an old cold nose, backpacking, you know, only hunt a half a mile, maybe a quarter at most, you know, and then, you know, it just, we, we, we're just, we're, where the walker dog guys, like I said, and you guys know, everybody knows this, their, their, their train of thought is just totally different. It's just, and like I said, maybe not uh, high in or stupid i think it's just because i have been walkerized being around them so much you know and i and and my train of thought's completely different you know even when we went to the memorial hunt the other day you could tell that their whole mindset down there was different they were all old men you know was there any no. young ones there no nope. i'm 44 and i was one of the Dora luchman had a, a grandson there but guys how many how many people do we see under 44 years old yeah i don't I, how many not, brett not many not not a lot most of them was all 50 60 70 80 I bet we had some close to 90, you know, and their whole train of thought is just so, I mean, I would have felt more comfortable if I'd have been at Walker Days than to, than to be down there with all them old men and, and them talking about how good the old dogs used to be and all this stuff. And it's like, you know, and they talk about that, but it, but I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, but if they were so good and they were so awesome, why ain't more people hunting them? Why are we not winning more? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they, them Walker dogs though, they, you know, the more I think about this on this number deal, oh God. <laughs> think about this. There are more of them that are losers than there are us. Well, yeah, absolutely. Because if, if, if there's 90 of the dogs, yeah, <laughs> 90 yeah. of them dogs out of 100 yeah. are Walker dogs, and one of them winning, if there's 89 of them, sorry, the, the, outfit yeah, losers. Absolutely. They got nine have lost. Yeah. And only uh, nine of the other one. Only nine or of the other ten, ones, yeah. Or 10. Yeah, be whatever it is. So I guess yeah. the odds are so yeah. our favorite. Your, your win percentage is better. It's win percentage better. is better, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I just uh, – but I do want to – before we get off here, uh, the other time I didn't thank enough people. I, I did want to thank, like, Blaine Lewis because he was one that got me into coon hunting. My Uncle Johnny Jackson, J.B. Conrad, Alan Conrad. I'd like to thank them, you know, for being around them and them teaching me. My mom and dad for letting me go. I'm actually more my dad than my mom because mom – probably didn't want me going so i gotta thank them for letting me go but like i said blaine lewis i gotta thank him because he was the one that got me my hounds got me blue ticks all that stuff uh like i said i'm gerald parker and trey melton i i like i said i, I don't i know them but i don't know them but I, I i really thought a lot of them when they done that with me when they reached out to me and on facebook and the website and then like i said they texted me even privately telling me congrats and all that so i i, I thought a lot of that that they done that I didn't. I don't want that to go unnoticed. And uh, like I said, I I I thought a, a more of the BBCHA because, uh, like I said, Jim was down there. I I want to kind of thank him for coming because I know they've been having a lot of trouble, and I, I don't know who's right or wrong. Uh, probably ain't nobody wrong. Probably just uh, people fussing. Different, know of, the truth. different of opinions. Uh, different of opinions. Probably what it all boils down to. But I, I I thought a lot more of the association when Jim showed up to support the Blue Tick Hunt. So. I got to give him credit there, and I appreciate you guys coming to a second podcast. But I, I'm already thinking of the third one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been we've been at it for almost two hours now. So uh, how close? Because we can we, make it that long. <laughs> we're we're at an hour and forty five minutes right now. But in, <laughs> but anyway, I, I, there's a, probably a lot more people to to thank. You know, I'm going to thank uh, several other guys. You know, I in the last four or five years i've uh, i've i've learned a lot you know i've, I've comp hunted basically for, since i started but i i honestly didn't learn how to handle till five years ago i always thought you know you just struck your dog treat your dog and that was it you know and i after uh, five years ago i started drawing out with cheyenne cummings as one of them blaze bowers has taught me a lot tyler compton lane denny a little bit but mainly those three they've taught me I, i've learned more in the last four years with them than I did the first 28 years. So I, I appreciate that. They, they, they've they just opened my eyes up on, you know, and I always thought, you know, you hear people today even say, well, they're they're cheating. You know, I, I hear it all the time. Well, Blaze cheated me or well, Cheyenne cheated me. No, they're not cheating you. They're professional handlers and they know how, what they're doing and you're an amateur. That That's what I finally learned. That That's the difference. Yeah. They're, they're professional. They, they know the rules. They, they, they know the rules. They, they know how to them. apply them. It's just like w when, when I was a supervisor before I started my own company. I had union employees and I had non-union employees. And I could fire the union employees faster than I could the non-union because I had a contract with them. And if they broke it, they were done. Yep. 
Well, the same difference. They know the rules inside and out, just like I knew that contract inside and out. <clears throat> and they use those rules to their advantage. Everybody talks about this. I, I don't know how many PKC hunts I've been in or put on in the last, whatever it's been, three years since we've been putting them on over there. And right off the top of my head, I can't think of maybe one somebody complained about. But No, it, you just don't, it don't yeah, happen. It just don't happen. You go to you go to the other one, and, uh, the, and this probably make people mad. Half of them barely know the rules. But I, I learned something, too, and this makes people mad. <laughs> Amateurs play for trophies. Professionals play for money. Yeah, that that's what that what that's boils down to. That, that's and and people don't like hearing that, but that that's the bottom line. Yeah, uh, the tournament of champions, they're playing for money. The big wigs win it. It's because they're they're professional. But I, 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 Blaze Bowers told me the best thing I've ever heard in 32 years when it comes to comp hunting. He said, Aaron, it's your job. I've I, I've never heard any. Nobody ever say this, but he said it's your job as a handler to get everything that dog deserves, and it's your job to keep everything that he's got. And a lot of people don't look at it that way. But when you go to a UKC, a normal hunt, it's a cluster normally. They don't know the rules half the time. But when you step into the money, you weed all that out. And I know people are thinking, ah, oh, baloney, but it is. You weed all that out, and you you start seeing it in a totally different light oh yeah yeah, yeah totally sure. different light different level of handling and uh but anyway i i, I just want to say thanks to those guys too because they've they've I, I didn't know what I, I mean i was like most people i just struck a dog treat a dog and then look like a chimp the rest of the time but them guys yeah. have really taught me a lot i mean they open like explaining stuff to me on on hey this is the way you should do that hey you shouldn't do this where I'd never heard all that. Not, nobody ever told me that before. Yeah. Oh, to, no. Yeah. No, I, I never I, had I, thought of that. Yeah. I, and I know what you're saying because I've been around them too and I've, and I've watched it. So. Yeah. And then you, they go with a couple amateurs and they're like, well, they screwed me. They cheated me. And it's like, no, they didn't cheat you. It's not their job to benefit you and your dog. Yeah. They're not out there to teach you the rules. No. That's yeah. your job. And they paid their dues. Yep. And they've paid a lot of their dues. I promise you. I think Blaze said he's been in 10,000 casts. I mean, oh, I don't know yeah. if that's true, but I, I I may have dreamed that up, but I'm pretty sure somebody said that he had said that. But, you know, he they paid their dues to learn how to do that. Yeah. But anyway, Brett's getting mad and fussy over here and give us this little secret signs that Yins can't see to get us <laughs> off the air. Uh, no, I was just thinking two things. One, it's getting dark. Number two, I need a snack. I got a spicy chicken breast. In and before right now. we close this thing out, because we're fixing to yeah, we're fixing to wrap it we're up. We're fixing to wrap this thing up. You got less than ten minutes. Oh no, it won't take it won't take me that long. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned this again at the end of the podcast, since I tried to clear up the first part. I want to make sure that all of my English fancier houndsmen and women out there understand and know that I was not MIA last week. In the search of a walker dog. Well, that's what you said now. So what you <laughs> told on there? Wait, wait. Was baloney? Just, just. So wait. I wanted to make sure that I, I cleared I'm gonna get that a picture up to of him end. leading that walker dog, and, and I'll post it on the Facebook. Yeah. Page no, because you're going to try to trick me to lead your dog out for you and act like you've rolled an ankle or something. You're going to slip. Yeah, it. and then I'm going to take not gonna the picture. Trick <laughs> you're not going to trick me. Huh. I ain't leading him. All right. Well, let's go tree some coons. All right, let's go. I think I've said everything, maybe. Yeah. I, and and this is just opinions. If you're listening to this, guys, this is just our opinions, how we feel. Hey, association has got to make money to survive, period. We know that. I run a small business. Aaron runs a small business. Brett works for a long, large company. They, they have to make money to survive. We understand that. This is just our opinions on how we feel about it. And hopefully open some eyes up to better each breed yep. as a whole. And obviously, I'm not the guy to do that because I'm going to hunt a winner, so it don't matter to me. Yeah, you're just going to hunt any of uh, <laughs> Just call we, me and Brett. We, Leave yeah. Jason out yeah. of it since yeah. he's a trader. We appreciate yeah. everybody tuning in. Uh, next time, we're gonna, we got a bunch of... Yeah, we're, we we're, got a bunch of pineapple reviews. Yeah, and, and some YouTube comments, some All emails. Right. we got a lot yeah. of stuff to go over, and we're going to try to sit down here in the next day or so. I mean, you're going to sit down and do a podcast. We're going to talk about some of that and some other weather-related things and stuff, and try to get all that done and, and sounds over. good so all right Sounds we're good. out of here
Thanks, guys, for listening to the Coonhound Collective podcast today. We really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to listen to the podcast. If you don't mind, head over to Facebook and give us a like, and head over to Instagram and give us a follow. It's both at the Coonhound Collective. Also, if you would like to reach us here at the Coonhound Collective, you can reach us at the Coonhound Collective at gmail.com. If there's someone that you would like to hear on the podcast or a product that you would like to hear talked about, please send it to the Coonhound Collective at gmail.com. Thanks again. Have a great day.